Hey guys, Filthy Robot here with the Roomba. We're going to continue on with our uh, tag, tag team uh, Washington playthrough. I guess it's uh, America playthrough. Uh, mm -hmm. Trying to figure out where we're going to settle some cities. That's coming up this uh, episode, I think. And we're chasing down that bloody spearman who won't stay put. So The camp yeah. to take care of. Uh, food is better for for cities, but we want food and production. So where, where do you, you want to settle? Uh, okay, so it's just going to be luxuries, right? So... We don't. We, we can eventually settle the double tobacco if we want, but that city is going to be abysmal, and we can already get two tobacco in Nadiros already. So we don't necessarily need to settle that third one. It's not necessarily relevant to anything, right? We can get um, two two tobacco here. Oh, uh, I guess I know it's only one. Okay, because we have tea. Is that tea? What is that resource that we have online? Dyes. Dyes. Okay, so if we have four or less cities, one copy of an amenity is fine. And if we have more than four cities, we want two copies of an amenity. Of a luxury because that gives us eight copies of the amenity. I got to use those not interchangeably. The only luxuries I can see that we can settle close are the dyes in the north and the tobacco in the middle there. But if you go a little bit further east on the mini map too, we already have dyes though. Yeah, if we're gonna settle more cities though, th this game is really skewed right now towards wide for everything. There's so many dyes. Yeah, and no unique luxuries. So the only luxury I'm, I've seen even uh, that we that we don't have is the. Uh is this tobacco. Yeah. And we, these, get, we actually do tobacco. have tobacco too. Well, we could uh, try some cross-continent settling. It sounds pretty painful. Um, we could try capturing some city-states. I haven't tried that yet. I don't know what happens if you war two city-states. Like, Because, for example, I'd love, like, Civ Five. if you steal one city-state, if you war a city-state once, there's no real penalty. You do piss that city-state off temporarily. But if you war city-states multiple times, you get a permanent hit to your standing with all city-states, basically. So... I mean, we could. Well, how's Geneva look? What did they? They have dyes as well, though. That's not particularly relevant. We don't really want to kill Geneva. It's one of the best ones in the game. So where the hell are we going to settle this? We, maybe we. Oh. Namidal's way the hell down there. Kabul is way down there. They're yeah. so far away. I, I see. I'm if if we're me, I'd just be thinking. Well, there's nowhere good to settle. I'll just settle nearby so that I can get more cities, so that I can have more. Population sure. growth, so that we can have more culture, some more science, yep, whatever. Absolutely, but mm -hmm. uh, as well, at our luxury layout, we want at least four cities. The very minimum we want four, because that that that's how the luxuries in this game work. So mm -hmm. let's let's at least build this settler and one more, and then we can decide if we want more or if we want to take a break and settle a little bit later. There aren't actually. So one of the nice things about Civ Six that I actually like about the settlement uh, setup is that. Unlike in Civ 5, if you settle late in the game, you're screwing yourself because it screws up your timing on all your national wonders, including things like National College, which is a really big deal, right? The science one. I don't think it's quite as true in Civ 6. There's no national anything. So planting a city later doesn't necessarily slow down the production of... It doesn't hurt your other cities in a way that it did in Civ, in Civ 5. So we could, for example, settle around the cities here, go up to 4, and then wait, find better land, and settle more land, which sounds okay to me. Or we could go tobacco, tobacco... Plus these dies, and then try to find a second marble and a second dies. We've got second dies is easy because there's a settlement on that northern coast that looks halfway halfway palatable. And we got marble there. Yeah, that's quite a ways that marble, but we could do it. But what I'm what I'm leaning toward is what I think. Hold on, I think is that rice or sugar? Because sugar looks very similar to rice in the little cool tip, and uh, sugar's a lux. Where's that? That's rice. That's those are both rice. Okay. I'm I'm thinking maybe what if we did eight cities. It's a good number, but where are we putting them? Everywhere. <laughs> sure, let's do it. Uh, White is better in this game, by far, right now. Uh, so where do you want... We haven't answered the question. Where do we want for the first one, though? Um, I would settle the dyes north, dye copper, sheep area, probably somewhere adjacent to the river, east of that, southeast of that. Over here somewhere. Just because it looks like the best mix of tiles to me. I can see those hills, those plains hills. I see a river. I can see dyes over there. It's a matter of where we place it. So we, we don't have to place it. Well, we don't. We can place it one. We can place it one off a river and still build an aqueduct to the river. It will be a little bit slower, but it's still okay. Uh, or you can place it one off of a one away from a mountain and build an aqueduct to the mountain, and that works too. So we could, for example, place it uh, maybe anywhere over there. Honestly, it's a lot. Of, a lot of tiles that are okay. Sheep is a good quality. So look at the quality of the tiles, right? Yeah, the two, wheat two. tiles are high quality. The sheep quality, uh, tiles are high quality. Copper is okay. It's better when it's not friggin' tundra copper, but other than that, it's okay. Uh, floodplains, that's not floodplains, that's marsh, isn't it? Some of it's okay. I don't know. We have, we have some options. I don't think it matters. Like, I don't think we need to decide that now. Let's build a settler and then put it out. Like, Right? Right. The reason why we're trying to decide is because we're trying to decide what to do with the builder. 
Where are we going to reserve I, this I builder for over here? Yeah, I would. Okay, so just keep him here or send him that way yeah. now? Yeah, just keep him there. Let's not lose him to a barb. This guy is uh, a pesk. Mm. He's, he just won't leave us alone. Yep. Oh, look. More marble. Good. Not very many diverse uh, luxuries. No, we're not. Not so lucky that. And broil. Still no camps, it looks like. Yep. This guy just did his upgrade on the dyes. Next up, what? Production for both the cattle and the stone are both going to be water improved. Stone's our pantheon and cattle gives uh, production. The stone first. Sure. For the faith. Yep. This guy's being a dingus. We're here. Yep. He should be safe, though. Why do we have a fucking trader? Oh, that's what came out of the goody hut last time we didn't notice. Oh, right. the, the, wait, what? What yeah, goody hut? Get the one the archer took. Oh, you he didn't take it to just... it automatically, right? Probably yeah. at the end of the turn because you had the, or the move command issued. Yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, well, we have a couple of city-states who wanted a trade route. Train a galley, yeah. send a trade route. Destroy a barbarian, barbarian post. That's Jerusalem, but route. where is Jerusalem? Well, we can, when we settle a city east, we might be able to hit that with the trade route. We can just hold it for now. Get some science uh, from Geneva. It's 20%. That's true. How long is the trade route for, though? It's like 30 turns? Is right there nine? Nine. Oh, nine's not bad. Yeah, send it for nine. Sounds so we could go to Geneva. We could get that. We get a road that kind of leads toward where our city will be. Sure. Yeah, let's do it. Sounds good. We got to get some military units over there to police the road. Right. Well, other than that, spearman's yeah. kind of not needed. So, well, it's kind of kind of cool that we actually got uh, got that guy. Yeah, it's nice. You can get builders out of the goody huts as well as uh, scouts and uh, traders, which is pretty cool all around. Are we just take the time to heal now? Yeah, I think that's a good time. Yay! We have met three city states. Six turns, five turns. Very exciting. There is our first guy. We are no longer food capped or housing capped. Yeah. So. Yeah, definitely reassign. Uh, unlock those. Probably lock those two, or do we want to work that one instead? Uh, I think this is fine. Let's grow to uh, as quick as we can to the next pop, and then we can work it once we finish that. Uh, I'm curious too if you can figure out the pattern in which it unlocks tiles when it produces settlers, because I haven't noticed yet, and it doesn't seem to do it where I'd like it to unlock. So. So when it when it produces a settler, it's going to remove one of those locked tiles, and I want to know which one and why. It took it took marble this time, but I don't know why. So this is seven overall production versus five food. Yep. We lose we lose four food to gain three production. How many turns? Faith. So it's three turns of growth. How many turns would it be if we work the marble? If it's the same, I'm fine with that. Five. Well, yeah. So let's just grow. Then we can work it. Once we've grown, we can reassign tiles and work it. All right. New settler goes east. He's got no escort right now, but. Uh... No, there's no barbs over there quite yet. It is a little sketchy, though. It'd be nice to get our units closer. But we we, we got them coming down, well, right? We, we had just passed the scout through, so... Yeah, yeah. And that guy can get there pretty quick. That looks... Oh, that's hills. It's not too quick, I guess. But it's okay. Sure. Very, very radar. slow. Yeah. Eh. The scouts won't steal your settlers. It's the other units that steal them from barbarians. Well, let's put the builder at the front. <laughs> okay. The builder's a little more... Less valuable. He's the one that gets captured. Another settler? Yeah, let's get. I, I want to get to a minimum. I want to get four settlers here, and then I think we should reevaluate. I'm having a hard, hard time buying eight on this this continent like this, or at least in the early game. So maybe we build our four settlers, take a break to build some like districts. Maybe, for example, our holy site district, and then we consider building some more settlers again. So, uh, what do we do about this guy? Go you gotta chase him down, because otherwise he's gonna start pillaging improvements, and it's gonna be super annoying. Okay, I'm I'm thinking maybe we should clear this camp out and send these archers to that camp instead. Sounds good. This, this is uh, getting kind of sure, kind of excessive, waiting around, doing nothing, hurry up and wait type thing. Yeah. I tried that pantheon uh, of uh, farming, bar uh, what is it, God of War or whatever it's called, where it gives you uh, faith for barbarian kills within certain tiles of your city. And I found it very, uh, it's very hard to predict when the barbs are spawning. It didn't seem particularly intuitive. But it's more land to the south. I wonder how much. Maybe some luxuries in that little bit of fog there. Like, check it this out. This area or sure. here? Uh, both. I want to see if it connects, but I want to see if there's actually somewhere we could settle. Flat desert's pretty bad, but hill desert is really good with Petra. Of astrology hmm. has no right hey, we finally have access to the shrine. <laughs> well, you don't actually. That's a lie. Uh, the shrine requires a holy site district. Oh, great. Thanks, game. Yeah. yeah. Well, so, we're not going to uh, 
build a holy site, are we? Well, we, we, we've got all this faith. Maybe we should. I mean, we have lots of well, faith we, generation. We have, to, we have to build a holy site to get a prophet because you can't found a religion unless you have either uh, Stonehenge or a holy site because that's where the prophet has to go to actually found the religion. So we're, that's what I'm saying. Like, we may wish to take the time to, uh, to do that. Also, I don't know that you want to move that builder away. Okay. Um, maybe move the builder to the wheat because the barbarian is about to pillage one of our tiles. And it would be nice to repair that. Although we don't have to. We don't have to work that tile, right? So we could just leave it for now and keep going east. But definitely a seller needs to go east, but this, the builder is a decision here. Well, if he does if he does pillage this, then we're going to want to repair it soon, and we have no other builder available. So. Yep. Yep. So that is one thought. The other thought is just we just ignore that tile for a while and leave it un unrepaired for the benefit of getting the other city off the ground as soon as we can. Yeah. All right, well. Decisions. We're lucky, too. None of these barb camps have been horseman camps. The horseman barbs are by far the most annoying to deal with. So if yeah. the barb camp spawns with a certain radius of uh, horses, it creates horse barbs, and the horse barbs are much stronger. If, say that again? If the barbarian camps spawn within how far? I, I don't know the number of tiles, but it's within a, a certain radius of horses. Like It has to be close enough to horses, basically. Then it will start producing uh, horse barbs, and they're much, much nastier. I go two tiles west. Let's get on that hill. Okay, yes. more tobacco. Shoot. <laughs> I do it as you say it. Should we scout these two tiles or no? Yeah, we're looking for luxuries, right? So the first was kind of a rough pass on where they're going to be the best options. Where, where are we going to get the most number of tribal village huts, villages or whatever they're called, goody huts? And uh, second pass is kind of like where are we settling? So Makes sense. All right. Uh, yeah, turns are going by pretty quick. We're playing a lot faster than before. 52 turns in like five episodes. It's a whole lot better than last time. He didn't pillage. Good. Uh, you can hide in the city with the builder. Could leave it. I mean, we could bait again, but it's fine. He could get our freaking trade route here, though. Is it going? It's still going, though. It's not coming back, right? Yeah. Yeah. Go. Well, okay. Now we have to make some decisions about the settler, right? Sure. Um, all I care about this area. It's too bad. We could do Plains Hill. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a little bit tempted to do. What about yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, that's what I'm looking at right there. I'm just trying to think about the pros and cons of that. So the cons of that, that are we don't get the iron in our uh, in our built our city from there, right? And we don't get the housing bonus from settling on coast or the housing bonus from settling on fresh water. We can build an aqueduct, which will give us uh, some housing bonus, but it's still less than it would be if it was settled on either of those places. If we settle here, do we get two two two? Uh, yes, I think we do. We so that's the, that's oh. certainly an option. Yeah, it's only a bonus resource. So we get the coastal. That's actually a pretty nice tile to settle. I didn't see it at all. So that, yeah, we could certainly certainly tempt that. I'm tempted. Looks kind of good. Maybe there'll even be some sea resources over there, possibly. It's going to be a little hard for that city to grow. It has very little growth. It's all plains. And I don't see positions for three for three farms. Do you? Mm. Like adjacent, like that triangle district stuff? No. It'd have to be... That's plains. I mean, we could settle. We can settle on the Lux too. The Lux. I mean, we wouldn't get iron. Then we would have what two, two, three, one, or would it clear the forest yeah. and make it two, 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 two? Oh one? yeah, it would clear the forest. It would be two, two, one. Why is why is that anyway? Why is that giving three production off that die? Is that a hill? It doesn't look like a hill. So why is it three hammers? It is. It's plain hills woods. Oh, it doesn't look like a hill. It doesn't rise like the other tiles, the other hill tiles around it. Yeah. Or maybe that's covered in fog. The rising. Could be. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So those are the types of decisions we got to make over there. Um, like like these, we could do a farm tree right right here. I mean, we could just we'll settle there. One, iron. two, what three. What do we need iron for? I don't know. Making just... cool military units to kill things. <laughs> if, if we settled here, one, two, three is the farthest we could work. We could do a little triangle right there. Yep. Although we have to buy all those tiles. Yep. Yeah. I really like the idea of having two, two, one. Two, sorry, two, two, two. If you want iron, then do it. Like I, I like settling on that. I don't. I that is a bonus resource and not a luxury resource. So I'm not 100 percent sure we keep it, but I think we do. You wanted to go west now. Yeah, one more time and get on those hills because I want to see what what's any it, what if any luxuries luxuries are over here. Yeah, I move towards him and shoot him in the face. It's important. I don't know if I've mentioned this to you. I mentioned this when I'm streaming and recording myself. It's really important you shoot barbarians in the face, not anywhere else. Okay. Just, just in general. This guy is so annoying. Yeah, he is being obnoxious. We kill him. He can cut him off with the spearman though. He's got to cross the river. It's gonna take all of his action points. The spearman will get there before anything else. Why can't we, we can't shoot? shoot him? The, the, the forest. Stupid forest. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, start. I mean... Yeah. I, I send the warrior east and start sending the builder east. And this is one nice thing about how slow these stupid trade routes move. It's because it's moving like one tile a turn and the bar moves one tile a turn over that. It's not going to catch it. And it's not going <laughs> to... The worst part would be in Civ 5, you'd send it and it would come back and come back the same way it had gone. And it would go right back through the barbarian. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, looks good. Uh, we have probably that scout in the other territory still, right? Yeah, go there. No, there. Organisms yes. Don't think hey. Very, very reef. Plants and organisms that make Too bad no luxury here. Coral. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there is no connection, so that means we got to come in from this way then. Yeah, but just, just scout that fog. Bust that fog for me. We, we would really like some more cities, and we really need luxuries, so every tile here to find the luxuries would be nice. Should have gone there, eh? Oops. Uh, I don't think you can see over the hill there, so I don't think it matters. I guess you would have seen a little bit more of the, uh, the coastline. So yeah, yeah, it was slightly better. We have that other barb, the other scout. Is he, he's probably healed enough we can keep scouting with him, huh? He'll give us one gold from Mavemba and Zinga. Yeah. I'll think let so? you pronounce that one. Uh, yeah. Oh, do we take it? Uh, yeah. They'll give us one gold? Sure, yeah. I don't, we don't care. We'll take open borders from them. That's useful. Yeah. Why not, right? Yeah, Fighting well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright. Uh, so you're heading to here. You are heading to here to block. Mm -hmm. That's hills, so he can't chase. Yep. If he does chase, we can kill him. Yep. You can move that uh, archer south one and maybe if he does go anywhere, still have shots on him. So he can't be annoying. And then both, yeah. If you do that, bring the warrior too, though, so that you don't lose it. Alright, we have a couple things. We forgot to change over production in Washington when we grew, which is okay. We're going to grow again to six. That's okay. But we did forget to do the marble. And we have that scout that's been healing that I think should probably be moved around again. I, I have to guess that that is where that tile was being worked anyway. Out of all the yeah, avail other available tiles, it, it had to have chosen that. Because that's got the the two, three, one. I mean, that's the best tile. Yeah. By far. Um, oh, so actually, you know what? I just thought of something. Okay, no, the, the marble, the, the copper does have a mountain two tiles away, right? So we can still build an aqueduct, right? Yeah. Yep. Right there. Okay, so that's yep. that's solid. It's looking good. Right. It's got the plus one housing, plus the ability to aqueduct from the mountain. And yep. uh Okay. We get iron, we get dyes. Yeah. The it's tiles okay. aren't 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 phenomenal, but they're okay. So let's think about okay. We're one turn away from a social policy, which is great, because we want to get off the cellar. Make your make the rest of your moves and we can do some strategizing for this. And don't forget to wake up your scout, the one uh in Congo's territory. Well, I told him to heal. I canceled it because I told you you wouldn't remind me. I did remind you. It was the other scout you told me I wouldn't remind you about, and I have reminded you about both scouts. No, it was this one. I, I canceled it, and then I did fortify to heal because I, I didn't trust you or me. What? But I don't want him to heal. I want him to move. He's healed he enough. He doesn't need to be full health. Whoa. His goal. His goal is to meet stuff and find stuff for us. He's at like four fifths health. He's at nine tenths health. Well, he he can't move now because for some reason I. When you click fortify in this game, it takes all your actions for the turn. Oh, great. Okay. All right, so we want to bust this fog. Yep. There's still two movement. Might as well take that one. Okay, nothing. Okay. Oh, it's disappointing. Tiles aren't great, but they're okay. Three, two tiles. Oh, okay. Game. So we got to decide where to put this other guy, though. I'm, I'm leaning towards just in here with all the rice, and we can make another thing. I don't know. There's uh, not... Can you show me southeast a little bit on this map? East, south, east. Southeast. Okay, what's over here? Any more luxuries over there? Got the food from this thing. Uh, depends how far we want to walk. Okay, I'm, I'm actually with you for the unique luxury, and it's going to be a terrible city, but maybe we can make something of it later. So do we settle the northern tip or the southern tip for the tobacco? Are there any better sea resources down south? Are there any mountains, either of them? Because these, both these cities will never be able to build an aqueduct, and it's going to be the most painful experience you've ever had trying to grow a city without an aqueduct. You wait. You wait and see. You're saying um, it's, it's going to be bad, is what you're going to say. What it's going to be an awful city. We're settling it for a luxury, and we, we don't have any... And there Are there other copies of tobacco anywhere that we could settle instead like a luxury that is less terrible less terribly no, located I mean, we already have tobacco from the city so we don't actually need it so if we're gonna only settle four cities we don't actually need that tobacco if we're gonna settle more than four we could use it but we don't have to i, I don't like that city it's gonna be terrible like All wait right. till you see how terrible this capital is that we took so i'd prefer fresh water near other luxuries but we don't want a third copy of dyes we already have two copies of dyes right there are no other luxuries. It's just marble. Yeah. I mean, marble, <laughs> tobacco. I mean, there, there's no other natural, like, like unique resources. All right, but we can. It doesn't matter how many. As long as it doesn't matter how many resources we have, so long as we set up what well, does. It makes it for growing tall. But in general, four cities. It doesn't matter how many resources. Is one way to look at that. So we could just pick this last location based on a a duplicate luxury we could sell people and b the best tiles. So it's probably like 
down here so we can work this thing. Because there's nothing else. There's nowhere else to go. Otherwise, uh, we're going really north? far. What's what's that north of the fresh water? I'd almost prefer to settle fresh water than anything else. Well, just like up here and take the... Well, the... we got to get the dyes, so it would be... It has to be a little bit southeast of there. It doesn't, you don't Remember, you don't have to settle on... You don't have to settle on coast to take access of coast because you can build a harbor district. So anywhere near the coast is just as good. So yeah, something like maybe that maybe that uh, desert hill adjacent to the stone and the wheat. Desert? It's a, <laughs> what? Desert okay. hill adjacent to the stone and the wheat. Stone wheat. Yep, so go two dials northeast of where you're This here? One tile north of that and to the east. East one? There you go. That's a desert hill. It's in between stone and wheat. So, so that becomes 2-1 two or 2-2? Two two? It becomes a 2-1 tile, unfortunately, but it does give us two copies of a luxury to sell. It is on fresh water. The tiles around it are reasonable quality. Uh, and it has coastal access if we want to do something with that later. When you say reasonable quality, you're looking at the stone, the wheat, and this three tile? or Yeah, and also the, 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 the dies are okay. Both the dies are okay. The dies are workable, like a two-one tile with other yields on it are okay. Yeah, let's just go a couple turns like that way then. Okay. It's kind of far away is the downside for it. And, why, isn't uh, it's he, not good why isn't he automatically taking the road? Seems like that'd be a whole lot a, smarter. Because, no, because it's the pathing. Path the pathing path can't path through the barb. So you mm. told it to go somewhere, and he's just thinking he has to go to the tile north of the Barbarian. If you killed the Barb first, he would have passed through it, I think. But I don't think I know if we have the time. Or the, not the time, the uh, actions this turn. Uh, okay, what are we building here? No clue. Aqueduct is going to be essential for um, two of our cities that we're about to... Well, one of our cities we're about to settle. The city we're about to settle is going to be needed for that. Where's the aqueduct? Here. There. Engineering. We haven't built any ancient walls, though. That's Okay. We have the tech for ancient walls, and we have nothing to do in our capital right now, besides wonders if we wanted it. Do we have the tech? Do we have irrigation yet? We do. We've already we proved did. something with that. Okay. Yep. So we could consider taking hanging gardens if we wanted to. Um, currency. So that our first our first commercial hubs are good. The commercial hubs are good because they give you plus one trade route for each of them, and they give you some gold. But I believe, actually, the harbor district gives you plus one trade route as well. And we're on a continent, and our continent kind of sucks. We might consider doing something with a harbor district this game. Sounds fun. Well, it's different. Let's it. it's, it's different. Let's do that. Okay. All right. Well, uh, amazingly, that's already been 20 minutes. We're going to have to wrap it up here. We'll be back, though, soon-ish. Yeah. We'll see, uh, see you in the next episode. See you guys soon. See you soon.